Hey, Pyros, Tim Reneke with Fireworks Not Show, and today we're gonna to be walking through the upgrade process on the 18M, 18R2, and audio box from Cobra Firing Systems. All right, so assuming that you got the gear, the only thing left is to get a wireless programmer from Cobra. Uh, at 99 bucks, it's really a no-brainer if you're investing into the system at all. Uh, it gives you the ability to upgrade and downgrade the firmware as needed without the need to send it out to Cobra. So at this point, we're ready to head over to the computer, install the software, and get started. All right, so first things first, we have to download the Synapse software. So we're going to go to Support, Feature Improvements, and Firmware Updates on the Cobra Firing Systems website. Click on that. Head about halfway down the page and you're looking for the Synapse Portal link. Uh, simply uh, download that, run that executable, it installs like any other Windows software, a few next buttons and you'll be on your way. If you run into any issues with that, hit me up in the comments below, I'd be more than happy to help. Okay, so after you get that software installed, we're going to head over to Firmware Versions. At the time of this release, uh, Scott's got 5.0 uh, beta available. Um, this next bit is going to be applicable to any firmware uh, that you're loading into your hardware. And, and that is that all of the hardware, the 18R, the 18M, uh, the 18R2, the audio box, they all have two different hardware revisions denoted by an A and a B. And as a general rule of thumb, I would say just go ahead and download um, both of these packages straight away. Um, in the event that you don't realize that you have mixed hardware or you do buy uh, hardware from somebody else later on, it just saves you a step. And don't worry if you're not sure, I'll actually show you in the Synapse software how to determine uh, whether or not the hardware is A or B. Alright, so I'm just going to download A and B. And then I'm going to show in folder. Now the gist of this is we just need the contents of these extracted. Um, I'm not going to show extracted files when complete. I'll just go ahead and do this really quick. And uh, there's a specific reason why we aren't extracting these to the directory that they need to be in, and I'll explain that here in a minute. Um, for the next part, I would suggest opening up another file explorer window and navigate out to Documents, Portal, Snappy Images. And we'll drag this folder over. Um, so the contents of both these folders need to go in the root of this directory. They cannot go in a subfolder in Snappy Images. Um, or they will not show up uh, when you go to flash this firmware to your hardware. Alright, so we're finally ready to start flashing our uh, hardware. We need to open up the portal software by going to the start menu and then locating portal. Go ahead and boot that up. Now if you already have the USB reprogrammer uh, plugged into your computer, you may see Snapstick uh, already populated in this port dropdown. Um, if it's not plugged in, go ahead and do that now. A green LED should, il should illuminate to let you know that it's activated, and then go ahead and click on this scan uh, icon. Once this populates, just go ahead and click connect. Now, we're going to start with the 18M modules. Um, if you're looking for other hardware, I will leave links down in the description so you can skip to that immediately within the video. Okay, so the first thing after the uh, wireless reprogrammer connects is to take note of its network address. Um, you'll want to know this just so you can differentiate it from the other hardware that you're actually going to be communicating with. So um, looking at that 18M now, we're going to need to put that into programming mode. And you can do that by holding down the orange sync button and turning the key to either test or arm. A P should illuminate in that digital display. And when it does, um, you can go ahead and go up to network and whoops network and find nodes make sure that you're on channel 4 and hit scan so we finish searching for nodes if you get this message and you only see your wireless reprogrammer in the list just go ahead and hit scan again you may have to do this multiple times um, until you see uh, another hardware ID pop in so in this case I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, shift click both of these or control click uh, both of them either way uh, and then say move to my network so both of those need to be highlighted again we'll do that just again in blue and then move to my network a dialog box will pop up um, just asking you if you really do want to move these nodes over in this case we do you just hit yes it'll let you know it's finished moving those nodes and we can close out of this dialog box 
So at this point, you may have noticed that the 18M actually rebooted, and it's no longer in programming mode. Um, you'll just really quickly need to shut it off, hold sync again, and then uh, turn it back to test or arm. Once it's back in programming, you can now go to network, oops, network new configuration, and you should see, indicated by that node name and the device name, that it's a Cobra 18M B meaning hardware revision B. In the case of the 18Ms, if it was revision A, uh, it would just simply be 18M A. And we need to know that because now we're going to go ahead and flash the uh, firmware to it. And you can do that by over here in the node info panel, clicking this little script with an up arrow. If you hover over it, it'll say upload the snappy image. Click on that, and we'll need to determine one last thing in the case of the 18Ms. Whether or not you're uh, running standard alkaline batteries, or if you're running uh, the rechargeable lithium pack. Um, and there is two uh, different versions, uh, one for each. So in this case, I'm upgrading a 18MB to 5.0 with the rechargeable LiPo. So I'll just go ahead and double click, or just, yeah, double click this. It will erase the existing image and flash the new firmware to it. So upon a successful flash, again the 18M, you will watch reboot and you should see version 5.0 in the window if that was successful. Okay, so I'll run this through again really quick, this time with two modules. Um, and as a pro tip, you can do this with multiple modules of the same hardware revision, uh, up to five of them at a time. Um, so I'll hold the sync button. I'll turn this one to programming mode. Do the same with this one. And then just like we had started the other, we'll go back to network, find nodes. Again, make sure we're on channel four and hit scan. We should see those network addresses uh, come in. So there's the uh, wireless reprogrammer and the other two modules. I'll click on the first one and then shift click on the last one. That way we get everything selected and say move to network. We'll get that same uh, warning prompt. It's just that it's going to move these nodes over. Hit yes. And it'll say finish moving nodes. We'll hit OK and close out of this dialog box. So you'll notice in this case, um, the again, the, the 18Ms uh, may reboot. You just need to put them back into programming mode if they do. And then we'll simply go back to network and then new configuration. And in this case, you'll see two Cobra 18Ms with uh, the Rev A designation. So we'll shift, uh, we'll click on the first one, shift click on the second, and do the same thing. Over here on this upload snappy images, we'll click that. We need to make sure uh, that it is uh, MA5 with uh, recharge lipo. Okay, so with the magic of video, we'll speed this up, and while it doesn't upgrade uh, simultaneously, them all simultaneously, uh, it's still a benefit because you don't have to go through that as, uh, with as many modules. Alright, so the 18R and 18R2s. We'll need to put the remote in programming mode, and we'll do that by turning the key to the on position. We'll need to wait for the remote to completely boot up and then hold the orange sync button for a few seconds until P is illuminated in that digital display. All right, then we'll head out to the uh, network menu and go to find nodes. We need to make sure that we're on channel four and then we'll hit scan. In this case, we just found the network address for our wireless reprogrammer, so we'll need to hit scan again. And there it popped in. So this is the network address for the R2 in this case. Uh, for these, we'll need to make note and write down the network ID. So in this case, uh, 0x4434. Close out of this, and then you'll need to click on the wireless reprogrammer, the snap stick, and click on this little cog. Now on the network tab, which should be open by default, you'll see this network ID. We need to change that to the network ID 
of the uh, R2. So in this case, 0x, 4434. And you'll need to check off this reboot, or uh, re reboot rather, after apply, and then hit OK. After that's completed, we'll go to Network, and we'll go to New Configuration. And again, you might need to do this a few times until you see that Cobra 18R2 pop into the list. You'll just need to select that, make sure that's selected and not your snap stick. So make sure this is a Cobra 18R2 is in blue. That's important or you'll accidentally flash the uh, reprogrammer. We're going to head up to Upload Snappy Images. This will uh, script again with the uh, up arrow. Click on that. And we'll need to search for the 18R2 uh, 5.0, the spy file. Click OK. That'll erase the image from the 18R2 and upload the new image to it. Now if this was an 18R, you'd simply select its image from the list. And in this case, you'd be done. This process upgrades the radio, but on the 18R2, there's actually a processor that we need to upgrade. So we'll do that now. You'll need a USB stick, uh, so you can go ahead and plug that into your computer, and we'll navigate out to the uh, File Explorer, My Documents, Portal, Snappy Images, and we're looking for that uh, Cobra S19 down here at the bottom. I'll just right-click that and send to uh, my USB thumb drive. Okay, once that file copies over, go ahead and pop that USB out of your computer. Uh, go ahead and turn off your 18R2. Plug that USB stick into the side USB port. And then hold the sync button and turn it back on. So you should see the uh, red LEDs chasing. And once it completes the load, those 1 through 18 should turn green. And once you get that confirmation, you can go ahead and pull the USB stick out, power cycle the remote, and you should see 5 in the display to let you know that that's been upgraded properly. Okay, so like the R2, the uh, audio boxes have a processor and a radio that we need to upgrade. And so we'll start with the radio first. To get these into programming mode, just simply uh, flip the power switch and hold the sync button until it blinks once at you, and then it should remain on. Then we'll go ahead and go to the uh, network menu at the top, go to Find Nodes. Make sure that you're on channel 4 and hit Scan. You should see both the wireless reprogrammer network address and that of your uh, audio box. You'll need to shift click so that both of those are selected and then click move to my network. And you'll get that dialog box just letting you know that it's going to go ahead and move them over. Hit OK. And go ahead and close the node finder, or close the node finder, excuse me. And then we'll head out to network and go to new configuration. All right, so once that Cobra audio box line pops in, go ahead and click on it, and then go up to the uh, Upload Snappy Image icon. It's the uh, script with the up arrow. Click on that, we'll scroll down to Audio Box. Now there's three files here in this case. Um, the way that you can tell the hardware revision is uh, AB indicates that it is an A revision. Uh, if it was the B revision, it would be uh, ABB for B revision. So in this case, I'll pick the ABA5, and we'll hit OK. It'll erase the existing uh, firmware and upload the new firmware image rather uh, to it. OK, so once that completes, we're good to go. Uh, again, like we said, much like the 18R2, there is actually a uh, processor that we need to upgrade as well. So you'll need a USB stick for this. Go ahead and plug that into your computer. And we'll need to navigate out to uh, Documents, Portal, 
snappy images scroll down to the bottom and we're looking for audio box uh, dot s19 I'm just gonna right click that and send to that USB stick once that's loaded you can go ahead and pull that USB stick out go over to your uh, audio box and go ahead and turn the power off plug that USB stick in and hold the sync button and turn it back on that sync button will start to flash uh, rapidly and it'll do so for about 15 seconds and then it should stop letting us know that it has completed successfully once it's done you can go ahead and pull or I'm sorry power off the unit pull the USB stick out and power back on and you should be good to go. So once you dig into it, it is a lot easier than it looks. If you like this content, be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below as to future videos that you guys would like to see. Thanks a lot.